fella. Second half, Auburn by four. Doc Robinson achieves the baseline, hits the one-handed floater. Doc with 11 points. Coming up large in Porter's absence. Florida's next possession, Brett Nelson drive. Mamadou NJ, I do not think so. NJ with the rejection, Robinson to Marquise Daniels. And suddenly, Billy Donovan's team is down eight. What's going on? Later in the second half, Damon Fishback pulls back. It's the three. 21 and a career high 14 boards. An emotional win for Cliff Ellis and the Tigers without Porter. They rally 78 to 70. Damon Fishback 14 boards, but this game really won at the line where the Tigers went 32 of 44. South Carolina, number eight, Tennessee. First half, Jamel Bradley. Okay, hits a three, that's good, but South Carolina, you must hurry back and play defense. Because CJ Black is down there for the throwdown. Tennessee up 11 at the break, things going the volunteer way. Or would they? Second half, kick it out to Bradley. Beats everybody, and he's fouled by Tony Harris. Bradley, 20 points, the three-point play puts South Carolina up by one. But back come the balls, most notably, Black, CJ. Floater across the lane, he had 13 points and six boards, balls up one, and after two Tony Kitchens free throws, Kitchens down low, no Hitchens in his shot, he had 16, and South Carolina break up the Gamecocks. They upset Tennessee, five and double figures for South Carolina. The Vols failed to score in the final four minutes and 23 seconds. They shot just 37% for the game. Arkansas at number 16, Kentucky, first half, Joe Johnson. Avoids the defender, puts up a three. Later, Joe Johnson proving he has inside game. Then Johnson, I really have outside game. Arkansas off to a quick 32-16 lead. Still in the first half, Hogs in transition, which is ugly on the farm, but nice on the court. Johnson led Arkansas with 21. Nolan squad up by 14. Second half, more Kentucky issues, throwing the inbounds pass away. Later, Tayshaun Prince to no one in particular. Tubby Smith, what did you just do? As Arkansas wins 86-72, both teams score 50 points in the second half, but the Hogs make that 14-point halftime lead stand up. So what about LSU taking on Vanderbilt? Second half, Tigers by six. Lamont Rowland recovers the loose ball. Strohmile is mobile. Strohmile swift with the throw down. He had 10. Still in the second half. Almost rolling off the mark, but Ronald Dupree, his only bucket of the game, but it was pretty, although Kevin Scalling didn't think so. Second half, LSU by 13. Collis Temple the third. With a name like the third, you know he's stroking threes. He made six of seven. He had 20. And LSU wins 71 to 60. Dan Lange, by the way, the Commodore's hot hand, just four of 13 shooting. Vandy now hoping for an at-large bid. Is El Amin and Yukon in the Big East semis. Tied at the half. And this would be Lee Scruggs with the soft touch. Hoyas within two. Scruggs would finish with a career-high 27. Later, UConn up five. Khalid El Amin to Albert Mooring. He's got some range. He hits the three points. He had 16. Huskies go up 56-48. Same two this time. A little closer to the hoop. El Amin down the lane. There's Mooring. A little closer. Huskies up by 10. Next UConn possession, Kevin Freeman taking it all the way. Not bad. Ends up on his hinder, but gets the two. Freeman finished with 16. <laughs> hinder? 70 to 55. I don't want to lose our PG-13 rating. Huskies first team in the 21-year history of the tournament to play on the opening day and still reach the title game. A chance for their third straight Big East crown. Braswell, 10 points, 6 helps. El Amin, 11 points, 6 helps. St. John's Miami tussling for the other spot in the finals. Pick it up late, just over a minute to go. St. John's up four. Johnny Hemsley, four of 17, but made that three-pointer to cut it to one. Less than 13 to go. Mario Bland in the lane, gets hacked. You get a free trip to the free throw lane. Free throw line, 15 feet away. Yeah, got it. Bland again. This time, no rim. Swish me. St. John's with 7.6 to play. Down one. Eric Barkley running the floor. Misses the layup, ball called off of Miami. St. John's ball, 2.6 to play. Anthony Glover gets fouled going to the hoop. Glover will shoot two, and we get to show them two. Glover hits the first free throw. You love the free throw, don't you, Trey? More than anything. Glover hits the second. Red Storm now up by 158-57. 2.2, I might have. LeVar Postal, if you're good. Fouls, Leroy Hurd, that is not good. St. John's bench, they're not happy. 1.1 to play, and Hurd at the line and clank we have no more free throws to show you time expires st john's with the rebound mike jarvis leonard hamilton embrace it's all good it's all over st john's wins it 58 to 57 for the first time in the 21 year history of this tournament there will be a rematch of the previous year's championship game
Right to that, Ohio State getting ready for some madness, but first Penn State in the tournament here. Second half, it's tied at 57. Buckeyes ball, Michael Red, the jumper not good, but Ken Johnson's good for the slam. Ohio State up by two, now Buckeyes by one. Titus Ivory pulling up. He got it over some tall mammals. He had 17. Penn State's up by a single point. After an Ohio State turnover, Penn State's still up one. Ivory driving. He'll miss. Jarrett Stevens. He has it taking place. He had 21. Penn State's up three. Now it's a five-point game. Buckeyes ball. Scooney Penn driving. Share. He lost it. John Crispin comes up with it. And he is fouled. And Penn State in an upset. 71 to 66. That turnover we showed you. One of seven for Scooney Penn. Also struggled from the floor. He's just three of 16. Penn State defeats a ranked opponent for the first time in 10 tries this season. John Crispin's brother, Joe, 13 points, seven in the final 220. Jarrett Stevens, the only Big Ten player to average a double double, pulled down 12 boards to go with his 21. After the Sunrise is giving out candy. Second half, Illinois up three. Frank Williams to Demir Kupolia. Illinois, Illinois by five. And then Illinois up by four. A.J. Guyton. D-line. Hail from Illinois. You said it. I didn't. Guyton. But he was just five of 20 from the field. Hoosiers within one. Now Indiana up one suddenly. Michael Lewis. A look he lives for. Hoosiers by four. And then Indiana suddenly was up three. Under a minute to go. Brian Cook. Cook boiling over. 18 points for Cook because he would make the free throw. We're tied at 69. After an Indiana miss under 10 seconds left. Sergio. Just call him Sergio. To Corey Bradford in the corner. Illinois. 72-69. A.J. Guyton. Half court heave. He has no choice. Mm. Mm, yeah. Illinois. Stunning. Bob Knight's crew. 72-69. Bradford streak of 59 straight games with a three. In danger before he hit that game winner. He finished with 12 on three of 13 shooting. The Illini facing ninth seed Penn State, which they've already beaten twice this year. Big Ten, Iowa, Michigan State. Spartans leading by one early second half. Mo, Mo Pete. Nice. Peterson scored a team high 22 points. Later in the half, Spartans clinging to a three-point lead. Dean Oliver. Bullman pass Mateen Cleese for the layup and foul. Hawkeye down by one now Oliver a career high 30 just under five minutes left Cleves big player would he make a big play nice spin pulling up hitting the shot in the lane Cleves finished with 14.7 assists Tom Izzo and the Spartans advance by 10 Cleves and Charlie Bell for their ACC quarterfinal game with Wake Forest the heels 18 to 12 on the season give head coach Bill Guthridge credit he knew what he had to do quote one is defend better the other is to execute our offense end quote Let's sum it up. <laughs> Joseph Forte doing his part. That's offensive execution. Behind the back, between the legs, the little jumper, but the heels down seven at the break. Second half, Forte continuing. The only three for Carolina in the game. He had eight points. We're tied at 52, but Wake fights back. Robert O'Kelly, Bookus, squat, nil, nothing in the first half. Nine, nine in the second half. Wake up two. 30 ticks left. Heels down four. Forte strips Craig Dawson. Brendan Haywood gets the ball and proceeds to travel. Haywood is upset. Phil Ford knows this game is O-V-E-R. O'Kelly clutched down the stretch. This is the first ever ACC quarterfinal loss for the Tar Heels since 96. Heels win at 58-52. So now for Carolina to reach 20 wins in 30 straight seasons, they need an NCAA invite and two wins. One's almost certain. One's almost certainly not going to happen. For Wake, it's their first ACC tourney win in three years. Florida State and Maryland. Stephen Blake, who did this much faster in real time, to Danny Miller, one of his five assists. Maryland by 19 at the half. They shared a lot. Second half, Blake comes up with a strip, then hustles to save the ball, tapping into Drew Nicholas, who does that. Maryland set an ACC tournament record with 25 team assists as they route FSU 82-61. It was the Terps' ninth straight win over the Knolls, and it puts them in the ACC semis for the sixth straight season. However, they haven't won the tourney title since 84. North Carolina State and Virginia. Early second half, Justin Ganey to Damon Thornton. Now, Damon Thornton's going to do a lot of things wrong here, like miss the jam and then hang on the rim as he tries to throw it in. That's a technical. Herb Sendek decided to crouch. NC State up two. Wolfpack bring it in. Anthony Grundy to Ganey. So in case you're clear, it's Grundy to Ganey. Ganey 12 points and a tourney record nine steals, packed by five. Later, Archie Miller to Kenny Inge. He had 16. Wilkins had 17, Ron Kelly had 16, as North Carolina State whoops up on the Wahoos, 76-65.
Friday in the Big 12 Tourney quarterfinals, the Jayhawks went looking for redemption against Oklahoma State. History was on their side. Kansas had never lost a Big 12 tournament game. That's something they'll never have to say again. First half, Doug Gottlieb, look at this. Bullet pass to Desmond Mason for the finger roll. These two are seniors. They played together, and it shows. Later in the first half, Oklahoma State off the Kansas miss. Get the ball to Gottlieb. This time from three-quarter court. Oh, come on! That's two to Mason. He had nine assists. Gottlieb proving that he can score on occasion. Actually, this shot gets blocked, and it still goes in. He had ten points. But one more time, Gottlieb for Mason. If you're counting at home, that's three. Unbelievable. Mason at 22 and 12 as State whoops up on Kansas again, 77-58. Cowboys had the Jayhawks to 37% shooting. Kansas hopes to never see OSU again. The loss ends their three-year run as Big 12 tourney champs. Iowa State got their Pfizerizing Baylor. Before the game, Pfizer, Marcus Pfizer, Big 12 player of the year, he did not disappoint. Marcus Pfizer is a man among boys. Poop in the arm. He was 12 of 13 from the line in this game. Second half, Pfizer. Yamo be there, up and under. He was 12 of 19 shooting from the floor. Seven seconds left in the game. Pfizer with the ball, just, just run it out. No, Marcus is going to let it fly. Oh. Two of two from three-point land. A smattering of boos from those few that call themselves Baylor faithful. But <coughs> he was exactly one half of their offense. This much I know. Buffs never showed up. We feel it's our duty to show you everything Colorado did right in this game. It won't take long. They made all of six field goals in the first half. They missed all 11 of the threes they took. They started the game 0 for 10, and at one point were 1 of 15 shooting. The Buffaloes at least were consistent. In the second half, they made only six shots. 18%, 12 of 66. Said Ricardo Patton, quote, I think our guys are gonna spend some time in the weight room. 35 points, the fewest by a losing team in Big 12 tourney history. Texas whoops up on them, 78 to 35. Three minutes left in overtime. Missouri with the ball up to Kareem Rush. And no rush to score. Missouri by four, 78-74. Under a minute left in overtime. Oklahoma down one. No, and Johnson scores. He had 21. Sooners by one. Under 30 ticks left in overtime. Sooners down one. Kelly Newton drains a three. Puts Oklahoma up to stay. And Calvin Sampson can raise his hands. Because he's sure Oklahoma wins, 84-80. OU wins both games against Missou this season to beautiful Eastern Pennsylvania Patriot League Finals, Lafayette and Navy. Lafayette trying to defend their title off the inbounds. Tyson Whitfield hits the three from the corner. Lafayette, oh hush, they're leading by 17. Lafayette leading by 19. Tim Big plays big. Turnover, gets it back for the layup. He had 10. Lafayette cruising by 21. It was all the Leopards. A Leopard in transition does not lose his spots. Ryan Ellers to Frank Barr. Bar none, he had eight. Lafayette wins, they're going to the NCAAs, the final. Mass and Temple, first half shot clock winding down. Pepe Sanchez. No, but Kevin lied with the putback. Three point play, the Owls go up by two. Minute men though, hanging tough. Monty Mack, no, but Mike Babel as in tower of tip. UMass down only four at the half. But too much Temple in the second, Mark Karcher to Kevin Lyde. Lyde was really good. Six of six shooting. Team high 15 points. Temple outscored UMass 32-16 in the paint, winning at 54-47. Owls perhaps rolling at the right time. They have won 16 of their last 17. St. Louis and Tulane sharing a basketball early first half. St. Louis by five and looking for more, and they look to Justin Love, and that three is luscious. Bellicans by eight. Still in the first, more St. Louis U. Dave Ferguson all alone, running away, in for the layup. St. Louis up 35-18 at the break. Second half, Billikens putting it away. Love in the lane, hits the little runner, breaks Chris Crawford's tournament scoring record. He's got 76 points in three games. The Billikens win at 64 to 46. Did we mention Kenyon Martin's leg is still broken? He had surgery Friday. Score at the half was Love 20, Tulane 18. State, we're talking double overtime. Jeremy Robinson got a look to win it. No, but there's Trey Stovall, who does not have a basket all season. Now he does his first two points of the season. Tie it 100. The Bulldogs coming the other way and get out of the way for Demetrius Porter. He hoists with two seconds left. Get out. Fresno State a winner. 103 100. You win. You must rush the court. And there you see it. Hawaii lost all three meetings with Fresno this season. Bulldogs have won seven in a row. They will face Tulsa in Saturday's title game.
The SWAC, Southwestern Athletic Conference semis, Texas Southern and Southern. Texas Southern down one in the closing seconds. Darren McLone, this is to Chris Miller, he'll miss. Then Iffy Adams gets the rebound, but Iffy blocked. Malone grabs it and misses the ball and gets tipped around as time expires. Southern wins over Texas Southern, 66-65. Number one, Alcorn State against number four, Jackson State. Last seconds of the first half, Tremaine Chambers. Oh, you go, Tremaine. Oh, counted. Alcorn State led 39-27 at the half somewhere. Steve McNair is smiling. Second half, Jackson State comes back. Timmy Marks, a three. Jackson State up three. 25 ticks left. Alcorn State down three, looking for the tie. Donald Fleming, no. As Jackson State hangs on to win the final, 64 to 60. Let's wrap the MEAC semi, shall we? South Carolina State, Bethune Cookman. Mike Waitree at the buzzer in the first half. The jumper is good. South Carolina State leads 42-24. After a lovely beverage intermission, Dwayne Johnson making the steal and South Carolina State on their way again. Waytree, the easy two. SC State wins at 88-66. Number three, Hampton versus number two, Copton, Coppin State. We have a graphic to prove it. Minute to go, game tied at 60. Kofi Pointer gets inside, gets the hoop. Coppin State up by those two, 62-60. Same score when Joe Brown will seal it. Driving baseline off the window. Coppin State a winner, 64 to 60. Utah BYU. BYU's Michael Vrains. Some blockage to Eric Nielsen after he misses the blockage. There's Nielsen cleaning it all up. That was two. He finished with a career high, 17. BYU up by eight. 18 seconds left, down three. Hanno Medela, you love it when your star will take a charge. It's a good example for the youngsters. 10 seconds left, you love it when your star, Hanno Medela, gets a shot to tie it. And Well, you don't like that he really airballs it, things like that. BYU, 58-54, the upset winner. The Cougars, defense clamped down, held the Utes without a hoop for seven minutes late. Utah. Northern Arizona and Eastern Washington, directionally speaking. Corey Schwab and Commander King the give and go. And King commands Schwab to take a three. Lumberjacks at their first 12 shots. Schwab at 20. Second half more of the same. This time Schwab to Ross Land, who lands a three. He also landed a game high 24. Northern Arizona wins 82-65. The area badger. Wisconsin and Purdue, Gene Cady and the Boilermakers looking for a win because, well, that's why you play. Purdue plagued by turnovers. That would be one. That would be two. Carson Cunningham tries for Rodney Smith. No good. One to the assistant. And Cady not happy with nine turnovers in the first half. Second half, all Wisconsin. Mark Vershaw, he had 22 underneath the Mike Kelly for the lay-in. Badgers up nine. And then the man so nice, they named him twice. Dwayne Dwayne hits the three. Purdue would never recover. Eventually surrenders. Wisconsin wins at 78-66 in this one. How about the back?